In this video, you're going to learn how to build this easy to use but also really cool savings tracker in Excel. You can easily add contributions and the progress bars on top all update automatically. You can even add more categories and savings goals and the chart on the tracker auto updates to include anything extra that you add. And this spreadsheet is actually not that hard to build. So if you want to learn how to build it, then stick with me, and if not, you can always purchase the template via the link in the description. That being said, we will be starting with a blank Excel workbook. The first thing that we are going to do is set up the worksheet structure. So begin by clicking here to select all of the cells, then right click on the row headings. Select row height and change the height to 20. Next. Change the vertical alignment to middle and the horizontal alignment to left. Then go to view and uncheck the box next to grid lines. You won't be needing them. Now with all of the cells still selected, go to home, then click the down arrow on the fill color button and select more colors. Click on custom and for the hex code below, enter in hashtag 2B353E, and then click OK. Awesome. To save us time, let's make a copy of this worksheet so we don't have to repeat all of these steps later. So right click on the Sheet tab, select Move or Copy, check Create a Copy, and click OK. Now rename the new sheet to Categories. Awesome. On the Categories tab, select Column A and change the column width to around 20. Then select Columns B and C and change the column width to around 14. From here, select cell A1 and enter in Category. Then enter Goal and then Amount. Then just enter in a few lines of sample data like so. OK, at this point we are going to create an Excel table to store the category information. So select all of the data like this and then go to Insert Table. In the box that appears, make sure that this is checked and click OK. This creates an Excel table that holds the data. And under the Table Design tab in the ribbon, make sure to give your table a name like Categories. Then go to Home and remove the fill color from the table. Awesome. Our next step is to style the table. So select any cell in the table, then click on the Table Design tab and click the down arrow here. Then select New Table Style. You can give the style a name if you want to, and then start by selecting the whole table element and then click Format. Under the Font tab, select White for the font color, then under the Fill tab, click on More Colors, then under the Custom tab, enter the following hex code, hashtag 394651, and click OK and OK. Next, select the second row stripe element and then click Format. Then under the Fill tab, click on More Colors, click on Custom, and enter the hex code hashtag 435361. Then click OK and OK. Finally, select the header row element and click Format. Click More Colors, click on Custom, and enter the hex code hashtag 2B353E, then click OK once. Next, move to the Font tab, and for the color, select More Colors. Then click Custom, and for the hex code, enter hashtag DC56DC and click OK. Also change the font style to bold. Finally, move to the border tab, select this slightly thicker border, 
and for the color, select that custom pink color. And then click here to apply the border on the bottom. Then click OK, and finally OK. All right, to apply this style to the table, click on the Table Design tab, then click the down arrow here, and select the custom style. After that, uncheck the button next to Filter button. You don't need it. Awesome, the table looks good. Now you're going to move your cursor just above the category column until you see this black down arrow. Once you see it, click to select all of the cells in the column. Then in the name box, type in category list. Make sure there aren't any spaces in this name and then press enter. This creates a range name that you will use here in a little bit. And if you click the down arrow here in the name box, you should see it right here. At this point, we are going to move to the next worksheet, but we will come back to this one here in a little bit. For now, navigate to sheet one, and while you're at it, go ahead and rename sheet one to savings tracker. Awesome. Now you're going to create a table that's going to track all of your contributions towards your savings goals. So start by selecting the range B10 through E15 and go to Insert Table. In the box that appears, click OK. Now select the entire table and then go to Home and remove the fill color. Then click on the Table Design tab, click on the down arrow here and apply that custom style. Also, give the table a name like Transactions, and uncheck the box next to the Filter button. Awesome. For your next step, resize column B to size 14. Then resize column C to size 20. Resize column D to size 30 and resize column E to size 14. Wonderful. At this point, rename the column headers to Date, Category, Description, and Amount. Okay, the table looks great. Your next step will be to create a drop-down list for the category column to make it easy to select a specific savings category. So, select all of the cells in the category column and go to Data, Data Validation. In the box that appears, under Allow, select List. Then for the source, type in Equals, and then the category list, which is the range name that you created earlier. Finally, click on OK and you now have a drop-down list for the category column. This would be a good time to type in a little bit of sample data like so. And once you've done that, your next step is to adjust the number formatting for the date and amount columns. So start by selecting column B, then go to Home and change the number format to Short Date. Now for the amount column, select column E, and change the horizontal alignment to right, and click this button right here to change the number format to accounting. Nice, your savings tracker table is now complete. Let's move back to the categories worksheet. Your next step here is to calculate the total amount for each category, and you will be using the SUMIF function to do this. So start by selecting cell C2 and enter the following formula equals sum if function transactions which is the table name on the other worksheet open bracket category close bracket next argument select the first category in this table and then next argument transactions which is the table name again open bracket amount close bracket close parentheses, and enter. And just like that, you've got the calculated totals for each category. Now, to make it obvious that these numbers are calculated, select column C, 
and change the font color to the custom pink. Awesome. Your last step on this worksheet is to select columns B and C, change the horizontal alignment to right, and change the number format to accounting. Fantastic. The categories worksheet is now done. All that's left is to create the chart that will go on the savings tracker worksheet. To do so, select any cell in the categories table, and then go to insert, bar or column chart, 2D column. Now you need to move this chart over to the other worksheet. So just right click, cut, move to the savings tracker worksheet, and then right click and paste. Then just resize the chart so it fits in the space above the table. Okay, now we just need to clean up the chart to make it look all fancy. Start by selecting the chart, click on the plus here, and then uncheck chart title, grid lines, and legend. Next, click on format in the ribbon and change the shape fill to no fill and also change the shape outline to no outline. Your next step is to select the y-axis values. Then, under the Home tab, change the font size to 12 and the font color to light gray. Then select the x-axis values, increase the font size to 12, and change the color to light gray. Okay. Your next step is to right click on the Y axis values again and select Format Axis. Click on the bars icon here and under Number change the decimal places to zero. Next, click the down arrow here and select Horizontal Axis. Click on the Paint Bucket icon and under Line select No Line. Awesome. Now for the bars. Right click on the chart and select Change Chart Type. Then select Combo on the bottom and make sure that both of these are set to Clustered Column. Then check this box for the Amount Series and click OK. Now this next step is important. Select the axis values on the right and press Delete on your keyboard. OK, good. Now we just need to make the bars look nice. Back in the panel on the right, click the down arrow here and select the goal series. Under fill, select no fill, then under border, select solid line and change the width to one. And for the color, select the custom pink color. Next, click on the data bars icon, change the series overlap to zero and the gap width to 75%. Then go ahead and click the down arrow here and select the amount series. Change the series overlap to zero and the gap width to 75%. Then click on the paint bucket icon and under fill, select solid fill. And for the color, select the custom pink color. Then under border, select no line. You can now close the panel on the right and you are done with your savings tracker in Excel. Thank you for sticking with me throughout this build and be sure to like this video if you had fun. Subscribe if you learned something new and until next time, I will see you in the next Spreadsheet Life video.